Photometry Studio has a fault analysis feature in the debugger that aids developers in easily identifying and resolving hard to find system faults. Using a Cortex M processor, system faults or hard faults are grouped into bus faults, usage faults, and memory management faults. The fault analyzer will display which type of fault that occurred, register information related to the exception stack frame, and it also allows developers to jump to the source code or the assembly instruction that throw the processor into a fault condition. But let's take it all from the beginning. In this small example project, we have a couple of small code examples that are written to drive the CPU into different fault conditions. Before starting the debug session, let us set breakpoints in the corresponding fault exception handlers to make sure that the CPU is halted when a fault occurs. If the fault analyzer seems to show incorrect information, this could be a result of that the stack pointer is changed by the fault handler code before the breakpoint hits. GCC, for instance, by default adds a push instruction to all functions. The result could be that the fault analyzer reads the exception stack frame with wrong offset and thus shows incorrect information. One way to resolve this could be to add the attribute naked to your fault exception handler. Let us start a debug session and open the fault analyzer view. The fault analyzer reads the system fault related registers from the system control block when the execution is suspended. Therefore, no information is shown until the execution is suspended. Let us now continue the execution. We will hit a breakpoint in the default handler and the fault analyzer will immediately populate information about the fault that occurred. In this case, it is a usage fault. It is a division by zero. We can show the register information from the stack that relates to when the fault actually occurred and even jump to the code line and the assembly instruction that throw the CPU into the fault condition. So the fault analyzer in this way supports the developer in faster realizing what went wrong by providing fault details, where something went wrong by pointing to the offending code lines, and why by providing stack register information.